This is Destiny Global TV. Today we will be speaking about Black Lives Matters and we will be asking the public a few questions pertaining to COVID-19 and also in relation to how it affects black lives. Also we will be expanding on the superstars Beyonce and the Manchester City footballer, uh, what they say if it makes sense that black lives matter. What do you so, think with ha what's happening with George Floyd in America? Do you well, think that's, a, that's a real terrible thing. I, would ha I mean, I've got a son and I would hate to see my son being treated like that. Um, I just think it's awful and I think with all the demonstrations it's awful positive mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that it's going to make a difference for you know, our black lives and, and, you know, and especially the young people as well, you know, so my view is that um, there's been things that have been going on for a long time which we've tried to address a number of times and it always seems to take a situation where um, some form of violence or some form of badness has been done against a black individual right. in America for it then to sort of um, escalate and people protest about it over here mm -hmm. but all in all how I look at it until I would say a white person or a white individual mm -hmm. sort of stands up and sort of addresses it. Mm -hmm. I've, I don't think things will change long term. And the reason why I say that because, yeah, OK, there was a lot of media coverage, but all of a sudden that has disappeared now. All lives matter. Um, but black people always been on the sidelines, disrespected. And it's become an epidemic with men, young men, black men dying and it needs to stop. To think somebody can feel he has a right to squeeze the life out of another human being, I think that's totally wrong and I don't endorse that because he didn't, he didn't offer any um, resistance, mm -hmm. he complied. So what was all that about? Black lives are always mattered, yeah, but in, in, in certain situations like the police, mm -hmm. which is institutionally racist, I felt, as a black man living in England, that I'd never get justice with the police. You so know, you've so had first-hand experience? I, yes, I have. It. Yes, I have. You know, I don't get treated like a white person or people of colour. They, they seem to, to, to be more harsh on us. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they treat us more ex excessive when they're using force against us. I think uh, this should be always been happening that uh, blacks should just be treated the same like everyone else. We're looking at what happened to George Floyd. We we are not we don't know if maybe if it was uh, a, a white, white person, person. Mm -hmm. if they were going to take uh, I mean if you, if that policeman was going to do the same, mm -hmm. uh, hold him down like that with his foot with, on, with him. on him for all those minutes even people crying out please stop please stop you wouldn't so i don't know if it's because of the uh the stereotype that black people are, are we dangerous people what was he going to do when he was already down there so i think they should treat um i think we should they, they should be now more cautious than before i know in a revolution somebody has to sacrifice and unfortunately it was just him but he has made so much impact disgusting come on yeah, for a man to stand with no security dead. to do that man i mean you, you've got to be evil you have to be somewhat of an evil person if you ask me mm -hmm. you know to have that in you like that i mean i've worked the doors myself for years my, my friend i never even put my hands on anybody to that so why would you have to kill somebody and then it's been happening in America time, ah, time it's, again. It's just that you're just hearing about it, that's all. Mm -hmm. There's lives that have been missed over here in the Midlands, and you just don't hear about it. That's where we're coming from. You just through. don't hear about it. The demonstrations themselves, particularly where the black people have been involved, has gone really peaceful. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen it on the news where the other demonstrators have really caused a bit of a problem mm -hmm. um, with, with the police, etc. But I think. Um, you know, it's one of these things, if we all stick together and we all do our little bit, hopefully we can make a difference because we've got our next generations coming up and I think this COVID-19 is, is a bit of reflection for everybody. I think majority of them did, yes, but you'll always get the few who will do things that are um, lawless. Um, very isolated, isn't it? Very isolated. I had to point that out to people yeah. at work because it's like a football match. You go, some people go to 
watch the football and some people go to cause trouble. But then again, there were other elements we don't know, but I think some people could have just jumped on the bandwagon. Issues around the way black people are treated in general in America, mm -hmm. especially from a professional basis mm -hmm. in the terms inequality of... inequality. Yeah, and, and, we, and we have the same struggle here. Mm -hmm. And injustice. But yes, but it's just that it's just not as, um, I would say, as open mm -hmm. as it is in America. It's covert. Yeah, because what I'm basically what I'm saying is that I see that yes, there's a lot of uprising, mm -hmm. but the people who can make a difference, mm -hmm. in I don't, I feel after a period of time when it all when it all quiets down, mm -hmm. nothing really changes. It tends to revert back mm -hmm. and tell us a situation again where everybody wants to rise up. Mm -hmm. But what I do like what's come out of this, mm -hmm. it's something that I've never really seen before. Not that I'm a Facebook person, but. Mm -hmm. I feel that now that the younger generation are looking at ways that we can build ourselves around the economy, mm -hmm. the things we do, keep the money within the whole sort black of... Black money. Yes, the black money, yes. basically. The black money set up, I think, is, is great. Yeah. So we, what you're saying as well, too, we, we should create an economic power. Absolutely. Because that, um, 100% people. because we can protest as much as we like, but unless we as black people do something, just like what the Asians do, the, pa the Polish have come over, they've done exactly the same we were sort here of thing. Before then. Absolutely, but I feel that when it comes to it, we don't pull together enough. We talk a lot about it, mm -hmm. but we don't actually do it. And that's what I feel needs to change. There, there is some sort of correlation between COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, do you think that this has highlighted um, Black Lives more? I think it has because mm -hmm. um, I'm not clear on the statistics of everything, but the, it seems what I've heard on the news and stuff that it's affected the BME population yes, more it has. so. Well, there's um, half so a million people in yeah, America yeah, and, I know and the, that, major, yeah. the proportion of it is black yeah. and, and the same in England. Yeah. So there has to be some correlation you know, how, I mean, how do we go about even addressing that matter as black people? I mean, I suppose I can only repeat what I've just said. It's about, you know, all these little processes and about everybody doing their little bit. It doesn't, doesn't matter how much you do as long as you understand what the issues are and you can do your little bit for society and hoping to, you know, change people's perception of, you know, the negative perception of what they have of black people. And black lives do matter. They always have mattered. Yes, but it's only now it's really, uh, it's coming to light more than anything yeah, else. Yeah, and I think the George uh, Floyd, Floyd situation, I think that just blew everything out in, the, out in the water. You know? I can't really comment on that because I think the whole COVID reporting is a bit suspect as it is. The reason why I say that, I don't know if anybody actually dying from COVID-19. Right. They always say at the end underlining issues. So I can't really comment confidently. And I, yeah, I, I don't believe yeah. in the numbers. So what we're saying numbers. could be fabricated for them to I think it get is. their own means. Yes, mm -hmm. I, no, I think exactly that. I think the numbers are, like you say, fabricated. I think they're made up in some way because no one actually has actually died. You yeah. know, the death, death certificate, certificate yeah. saying, this person died from COVID-19 alone. Yeah. So I'm very skeptical. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very skeptical in that. So yeah, I don't buy into that at all. I think but it's it, all been fabricated really. You know, I don't think it's no COVID-19. Isolation is the worst mm -hmm. thing you can do a human being. You, we, we born to live amongst people, mm -hmm. not, not be isolated. Mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're isolated, all sorts of things start happening. Mm -hmm. You can have breakdown. You know? Mental problems. Of course. But all of this, yeah, I think it's just one big hype. I've never known virus to kill anyone. I know that disease kill people, not virus. If that was the case, why did they give you the flu virus? They wouldn't give you that virus. It was so dangerous. And it spread from, from country to country like wildfire and killed so many people. Half a million, they say, yes. in the States. You know? And the, most, the only two countries who... who who's they've killed so much is America and England. So I'm saying to you, something, there's so something, you know, and, and us people, like black people, we, we suffer with diabetes, diabetes high, blood, high pressure. blood pressure, you know, and... Underlining factors. That's right, that's right. I would say there is a lot of fabrication, but the media, mm. 
they, they, they put out what they, what they want you to know and hear, innit? And they'll always will. That's the power of the media, innit? And the entertainment world. Well, just, to sum, <laughs> just to sum it up, young John, from, from a Black Lives perspective, I know that you, know, you, have, you still want to see your children grow up in a country where you know they have equality and they have justice. Do you think that you would live to see that in this country? Mm, I'm a bit optimistic with that one, my friend. I've been going through that system myself with my children myself. I still haven't seen them to this day. Um, the black people probably be pushed. I'm not saying I'm right, but they're probably pushed to do the work before their white counterparts because black lives probably doesn't matter. We've been told by the media that um, uh, more people are dying from COVID. But if you go to the European, um, the Caribbean countries, hardly anyone. Yeah. So hardly there's anyone. something going on there. Yeah. Hardly anyone. Yeah. Just, I mean, a lot of stars, Beyonce, and also a lot of football stars, they seem to be in the media quite a lot now. I don't know mm. if you heard. Beyonce yesterday had an award, a humanitarian award. No, I didn't. No, yeah, she did. No, and she, one of her, her speech was uh, black people should go out and vote to make their vote count mm. so that it could improve black lives. Mm. Um, I, would agree, I would agree with that. You know, I think it's, I think it's a situation and it's a real situation because we hear about it, we see it on the news, and we we move on to the next day. Right. But, it, but this whole situation with George Floyd is really, really, I think, has made people uh, sit up and think. Well, this has happened, and it's gone world worldwide. Yeah, it's gone viral. Um, it's gone viral all over the place, and uh, it's made. I, th I would think it's had a massive impact on everybody. Yeah, the stars may come forward. It's a good thing because they're people in the youth's eye. Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, a lot of the youth try to follow them and aspire to what they do. But I think the message is always lost after a period of time because social media, yes, it's good that we have it. But when it comes to real news, I would say the, the press, they're not on our side in terms of um, in the long run. Yes, because they've got a platform. They've got voice. Yes, I think it will. And, and, and do you think that it's about time that black people now have equality and yes, justice? Yes, absolutely. We're 100% we're human, just like anybody else. I the think it's terrible what it happened, it. but I will tell you, I do know that the, the police do do things like that to white people as well. It's not just black people. I mean, they might target you guys more, mm -hmm. but they, they can be nasty with any colour, you know. So, I know so people have been beaten up by the white people. Yeah, they're icons for the wrong reasons. I believe they did do some good, but they did a lot of harm as well to an entire race of people. Um, the Jews got their um, justice. We need to have ours as well. I think, it's, I think it's right. They shouldn't be there. For people to see them is like you're rubbing them things in the mm -hmm. faces. Mm -hmm. You're looking up to these people like there was people who was great and that. They're not great. You know, they abuse humanity. Mm -hmm. And look where, where that statue was in Bristol. Mm. Come on. Black people walk past that statue. You think they're proud to walk past that statue every day? No, no. no. I don't think so. I think a lot of people had wanted to pull down that statue for a long time. Cosmopolitan it is, it era is, yeah. where people should be living together. But the kids are going to school, aren't they? Black and yes. white going to school together. And I think the younger generation are not so prejudiced. But the, probably some the of older. the older people are, oh, yeah, because I was about 16 before the Jamaicans started coming here. Mm -hmm. I grew up when I, I'm 75. Mm -hmm. Everyone was white. Mm -hmm. My had a stepbrother who was half caste, mm -hmm. but he looked, he was darker than you. And uh, there was one black guy in school. And apart from that, oh, Paul Robson, the famous black singer. I bet you're too young to hear it. Have you heard of him? Paul Robson, used to think, yes. oh man, he used to live in Pai Pais, actually. But I think all lives matter and we're all human and we should all be respected as such. It's really a pleasure to speak with you. It was a pleasure to much. talk to you as well.